Anyways, how is she going today, tubes? Pretty good here, pretty good here. Really, actually, a super nice day out here. Makes me kind of think I want to uh, do that wall building there. Remember we got the bricks there and the, and the mortar a while back ago there? I would like to kind of get that done before I have to do it, before it kind of, pardon me, smells funny in there, if you know what I mean. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that. Sorry. Um, I can show you after it's all blocked in and mortared over, but I can't show you actually doing it. Which, yes, I know, really sucks, but if I want to keep my job, I, I can't do that. Because <laughs> I did sign a confidentiality thingy or something that was called a way back. Something like that. I can't remember the exact name for it. Basically stating I wouldn't, you know, uh, film digging or stuff like that or showing anything like that. You know, they're just worried about getting legal trouble with somebody or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. They never really explained it to me. They just, you know, gave me this thing to sign. So that's fine. Whatever. You know, we do lots of other things in the shop here. As in building stuff for stuff. As in buckets. Book. Book it. Still, still hot. No, I'm kidding. It's well cooled by now. <laughs> so it's just a little bit too cool outside for mortar and stuff yet. But maybe while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I'll do some more finish welding here on this. And uh, I think we're getting pretty close to uh, being pretty much almost all the way done, ish with it we um i don't think i made it out far enough or made the top out too far i don't know i still also have to add that extra piece oh crap what i do with it uh oh i must have put it away uh the extra piece for the teeth so that will bring it out a little more because we're going to need to overlap pretty good. I don't know what size size of holes to drill in that yet. I don't want anything too major huge, but I, I don't know. Start small, and I guess I could always drill them bigger. It's kind of hard to start too big and drill them smaller, if you know what I mean, but um, something something will work, I'm sure. So, but uh, what else? What else are we doing today? Um, we're doing this. Going to finish this up, the welding. And, uh, boy, oh boy, um, I got to do that wall, and that's going to take me a bit of time, so I, I don't actually know how much we're going to do today. Um, but I'll do some, I'll do some finish welding on this, and, uh, we should be good. Ooh, 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 look at the look, eh? Okay, I think we got her pretty much all welded. I didn't do this seam here. I did it on the inside. Uh, I probably will run a bead along it after, but it's kind of warmed again, and I uh, want to get her kind of cool. Oh, crap, I didn't do any more down here. Darn it. Oh, well, I'll have to go over it again anyways, but, and these I'm probably just going to do strip welds like that. I don't really think it's got to be the whole length there. A little bit of less weight's okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I've been loading stuff here. I'm sure I got everything I need for this other job. Wish I could show you guys that, but I just can't. So let's see. We don't need an edger. That's for like a long, like a sidewalk, right? You don't really need that there. But we do need uh, this for after, for smearing. Because what I do is I build the wall, let her set a bit, and then I mix another bag of, or another bit of stuff and then I smear a whole front thing on it too. Uh, that's pretty good for mixing and between the joints, you know, and stuff. That's a brick splitter, so I should, I guess I could probably just split right in here, but if you need like a half a brick, you just uh, line her up, hit her. Oh bam, with the dewey real good and it splits it usually where you want it. That's like uh, for the middle of the sidewalk. I don't really need that. And then I got uh, another smaller little guy here. So that is my tool that I use about every six years. <laughs> and that's about it. So I'm going to need a couple of pails, I guess, too. I think I got some pails up here. Mm, yeah. 
Well, I can probably show you this. Um, just about done the bricking. Uh, the motor's still setting up a little bit. Um, got a little spot there yet to fill in. Just had to mix up another batch of, a batch of stuff. So just going batch by batch. Don't mixing up too much, just mix it by hand. So uh, I've got to let this set up. As you can see down here, it's getting actually setting up already pretty good compared to up here where it's still mushy, right? So she's setting up, that's good. Let me get in strong. Can't even push her now, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we can't uh, see much in there, so that's sort of the idea. But uh, I gotta finish that a little bit, let her harden up a bit, and then I can do the schmearing coat. And I'll show you that when she's all done. And that's pretty much it. She is sealed in. Now that'll have to sit here for a bit. They have to replace the door on this because some of these old doors are uh, uh, the old bronze letters that stand out. I'll show you here, hang on. Kind of like letters like these. Uh, apparently we can't get these anymore or the company in town here doesn't do them anymore. So I don't know. But anyways, um, so yeah, there we go. Good to dry up now, hopefully, and uh, hopefully this afternoon she gets a bit of sun on her and uh, it dries up real nice. Well, there we go, all cleaned up. Uh, had a little bit of mortar left, although I used a little bit of mortar that was in the other bag here, finished it off, and then now I've got another half a bag or a quarter of a bag. So, anyways, not too bad. I had uh, one, two, three, four and a half, and the one kind of split on me weird, so I used all the little bits on the top because the top isn't square, it kind of does like a dome thing, like a casket lid. So you have to kind of find little pieces to jab in. So every time, you know, I'd do uh, two across and then like a three quarters of a brick. So you'd have to bust it. This one, I don't know, it just freaking exploded. But <laughs> anyways, uh, it almost looked to me like when they mixed the, mix the stuff for this one, it was kind of almost too dry. As you can see, when it squirted out the, the mold there, it just seemed like it was too dry. And she just exploded. So. Oh, well, that's all right. So we'll put all this crap away and then uh, we'll be looking pretty good. All right, well, let's fire up this thing here and uh, get her out sort of in the middle here where I can get this bucket off it. Ooh, I hope this is gonna fit on here. I hope so. <laughs>
Okay, so we gotta make sure we mount these on right. I think that should be the right way here. One through here, one through the wire. Try not to get grease over in the weld. change gloves already. Look at that piece of junk, eh? Holy. Okay, so now we got to get a bucket too. Will help. So just give me a give me a sec here. I'll get this measured. I'm telling you, I don't know. That looks freaking cool <laughs> on there. Okay, while well, she's tacked, this is the first time to getting lifted by the machine. Let's tack a little more. It's all right and everything's good and it's not too big. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna have to reposition you, hang on a sec. She's not too bad. Got an awful lot open. <laughs> like almost too much. Um, but I noticed, oh, well, I got to turn the other way now. I'm gonna have to, I forgot to uh, hollow out those pieces on the, uh, right up in here. They come up and they hit up there. Hang on, let me curl it around again. So these pieces will have to get a little bit of a cut, but I don't actually have too much more anyway, so maybe it will just stay there because of the uh, mount for the thumb here is kind of interfering a little bit, but uh, I don't really know how much more I'd have anyways. But she's sitting actually, you know, not level would be down about here, so it's actually, that's not too bad. That, uh, that should actually work pretty darn good. So she might just stay there. It's a little bit hard on here, but um, it's either going to hit hit on here or hit in here. So um, it would have been fine probably without that thing. But um, I think the only way I could have got around it is brought these brackets up more. But then it might have curled up more. I don't know. Um, well, it should work. We'll, uh, we'll drive on with that, I guess. All right, well... I guess we'll take, get her off again here, and I'll take her back into the bench. Let's 
somebody outside is not too happy. Squaw working away. Uh, we'll get her outside. Oh, boy, boy. <laughs> get her back on the bench here. And uh, we'll slowly weld these these Deweys back on here. Um, or. Or. While. While I've got her on here, maybe I should weld on my little holder things here. Um, you know, for the pins here. It's probably not a bad idea. Get this to move. put these little keeper things on here for uh, for those things I think I might have to go make some of them um, might as well try to tack them on well I kind of got it on here and then we can do all that too so let's go see what we got here all right so I got a piece here but I got to cut it in half. I gotta cut her in half unfortunately uh, I hate cutting these when they're this short because you can't actually put them in the saw and hold them right so I gotta do a little trick here, and it's, it's really not safe, but it's about the only way I know how to cut something that small, that thick. And uh, what I gotta do is, uh, that there, that one on there. And then uh, hopefully, Having that pin in there, squeeze me for a sec. Hopefully that pin in there will keep her, you know, kind of together. <laughs> but I need to find center here first on it. This is about two inch there, so we're gonna put her at just about an inch. That should be pretty good. Minus our cut, of course. But uh, yes, this definitely isn't the right way to cut this, but. but the only way I've got. Oh man, I gotta go even shorter with it. <sighs> Somewhere about there. Oh, I don't like doing it this way. It's really not even being held there. <laughs> uh, but hopefully having that little bit of a pin in there will keep it from wanting to jackknife on me, if you know what I mean. Uh, so here we go. Hopefully it doesn't go flying apart here. She's about a blade's width out. Now that freaking blade already is sparking a lot. And that drives me nuts because that was a brand new blade not too long ago. <sighs> okay, so we got to drill in some... I think it's 3 8 inch holes. So there's all our drillings from yesterday. They look like little train wheels now, eh? It's kind of cool. And cool. <laughs> little drillings. That worked good though. All right, hopefully this will drill. I'm just gonna drill a couple of small holes first.
one is good for that. Let's grab the other feller here. And whereabouts did I drill that? Pretty much in the center. Pretty much in the center, I'm saying. Hmm. noise like that, I'm probably pushing a bit too hard, but uh, just keep thinking that all that bit's going to break, you just got to let off a little. table down here I do believe now to put the bigger bit in. Somewhere's about theirs. And hopefully this one's got some life left in it to drill me a couple more. Inch, half inch drill bit, I think. I think this one was. What is going on here? There. It's one of those bits with the flattened edges on it, so you gotta make sure it lines up perfect. Okay. I gotta go down just a hair bit more with the table. Lock that on. mosquito I just killed. Wow. I am not ready for those things yet. <laughs>
And number two. Good to go. Let's go see if these things fit now. Okay, hopefully I drilled straight. Ow, freaking hot. That one's good. It's a little off, but that's it's all right. We can always try switching them. The other ones I got a little bit more flat level. It's not bad, but oh, it could potentially be the other way around too. Oh, this is one of these stupid clips that likes to snap on your finger. Let's just try that one down there maybe. Yeah, these ones, ow, freaking got me. So I'll have to position this pin the right way too. That one's a little better there. Oh, that one's hot. Must be a little burr in this one. Little burr. So that looks good. That looks really good. Okay, so now I gotta position these pins. So, the other bucket, so it's a little bit easier to get out. So this one was right, right back. I'm gonna put a little bit of an angle on it though. And this one was. Should come into there pretty good. This one could probably go almost straight up. I don't think that'll harm anything there. Okay, let me just see if I can bring this one out a little bit. Oh, and I'm looking pretty good, right? So. I think those will work. Okay, I'll give those a tack on too. Yeah, I guess that's all right there. I'm almost thinking that this, this one here can almost go straight up too. Kind of keeps them from potentially wanting to fall out, right? I don't know, I think I got lots of room there I can get. Yeah, good enough. Okay, I'll tack these on here. All right, I think we can get this off of here now. Now, I don't know if I questioned it when I was recording, but I'm like, I was messing with the inside there. It didn't look right. What's going on here? There's one side. It was looked like the bushing thing had come out or something, but it, it actually what it was was the rubber seal seemed to have come out. Why, I don't know. But anyways, uh... Should have made those things a little shorter, but that's all right. I did put in a washer for spacing, but uh, yeah, the little seal here, for some reason, decided to come out here. So it's kind of weird, but anyways.
close to the ground. There we go. Okay, we got some finished welding to do, and I'm uh, gonna go real easy on those plates so I don't warp it. And uh, we should be looking pretty good. Okay, my rapid cooling method seems to work. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Um, okay, so. I guess we'll uh, finish her off. She's pretty much, pretty much cold there now. That's probably going to be her for today, I'm thinking. So, let's... Finish her off. Okay, let her cool again. I don't want to get her too hot, you know. Now we'll go at her again in a few minutes.
think we poured too much heat to her because it looks like it's all right. Something happened though when I first glued those things on. The far one has got a little bit tilted out, although it fits on the machine. So, whatever. <laughs> um, as long as the pins go through, I am happy. Pins seem to go through, so. And hopefully they go through when it's on the machine, too, which I'm sure it will. But anyways, we're gonna do some cooling. And uh, I think then I'm gonna do a little bit along the sides here, just a little bit at a time so it doesn't warp stuff, you know, but I think as far as I know, we're good. All right, well, she's, I think, looking pretty good. Um, I think everything's welded as much as I wanted to get welded, so I think she's good. The fan works good, cools everything down nice, so you can't really see the this one here. It's going that way a bit, but it's funny how how the pin fits still. <laughs> I don't know. I had my uh, my Deweys on it, you know, holding her down, and uh, something something wasn't right somewhere. Maybe I need, I nudged it or something. I, I don't know. But uh, there we go. Sweet 24 inch bucket. Now, planning ahead for this thing. This will be our removable tooth head. I don't know exactly where I wanted to mount it. On top or on the back? Probably, probably on the back. Kind of like that, but that piece isn't long enough. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so I'm going to have to... Uh, Probably get some more material there next week-ish. This is uh, 3 8 inch by 4 inch. I thought I had more of it, but I guess I guess I don't. I must have used it all or something. I don't I don't see it around here, so yeah. And then uh, we'll have to get some uh, uh, probably 3 8 again, but only uh, well. thinking two inch that's a pretty wide tooth though that's a pretty wide tooth I don't know I guess they'd have inch and three quarter they probably have it all in quarter inch increments right like I would imagine so if I could get an inch and three quarter and then uh, what I would do is um, drill through here through the other piece drill drill I don't know how many drill right through and then bolt it together when I want to use the, the tooth or the, the teeth probably be the best the best idea um, that's what I'm thinking anyways uh, could bolt on the top too I guess it probably really doesn't matter as long as I get quite a few bolts you know to hold her to hold her in depends on how big I go probably probably half inch would be Decent. Uh, let's grab a half inch bolt here and see. Okay, so there's a half inch, a little short I know, but uh, probably would get some grade fives or something too. Just because there's going to be a lot of pull on these, but they'll probably get drilled through, you know, every, I don't know, so many inch or something. I don't know what to say really. We want a fair bit of fair bit of pull but you know it's not a huge high power machine so it's not gonna need a whole pile but probably what is that hmm. I'd have to do some mathematic stuff measure that and then you know times how many bolts kind of thing and then get her figured out for you know the distance across I don't know I'm just not thinking right ahead to that yet I'm just sort of thinking about materials I'm gonna need probably gonna need another piece of this we're going to need uh, 
that other three eighths. So what's going to happen there is the the one end will get welded on. I wish I had a little chunk. So we'll just use this this uh, hacksaw blade. So this will get welded on kind of here, right? Probably be out here more, but anyways, uh, there. And then I'll heat somewhere here, and then bend her around to the back side, and then weld it on the back. Sort of like what we did on this bucket. Same sort of idea. This is for the big tractor. Hey, I've only used her a few times, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, that'll get welded on, and then yeah, that's what I did. I heated her and then just bent her around until it met the back and uh, smashed her on. If I can find the video or we did this, I'll, I'll post that on the end maybe. If I can get her all all together for you. <laughs> I was gonna, gonna have to go find it. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, that should work good. They're like a not replaceable tooth, but you know, I could rebuild the thing where these are mounted on solid, but anyways. That uh, that should work good. Anyways, I'll try to find that uh, clip of how we did those teeth. Post that on the end today, maybe. Everything's all out there, yes. And I already know the front doors are locked. Sweet. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. That's gonna be fun trying that bucket out. Should be interesting. And we could try her, you know, without um, teeth on it, but. Oh, we'll wait till we get some teeth. Build that bar. I'm gonna have to get some more material next week. They'll be long closed now, I would imagine. So there's no point in going now. But uh, next week, Monday or whatever, I'll head up. I don't think they're open through the weekend, so I'm pretty sure they're not. Which you know, I don't blame them. Weekends off are nice. Uh, but yeah, so that's I guess it for today. Um. Farm sim Saturday should be good for tomorrow. As far as I know, everything's good. And yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Can't think of anything else. But anyways, uh, I'll post that uh, thing at the end here. Uh, show you how we did the teeth before. I think I'm probably going to do that again. It seemed to work pretty good. So that little machine there won't rip those things off. So they're pretty darn solid. <laughs> That'll add a fair bit of weight to the bucket too, but. The other teeth on the like the factory bucket, they're just so freaking huge and it looks kind of silly. So, you know, I'm just going to build my own stuff and I uh, will go from there. So, but it'd be kind of sweet to have it removable. You know, we can remove, remove the tooth bar. And uh, yeah, but uh, I guess that's it. Thanks again for watching. Um, we'll catch you, hmm, dark. We'll catch you next week. Um, Farm some Saturday tomorrow. I haven't got anything planned for Sunday, so I don't know. The uh, truck sim has been going through this update thing. They updated the game, but now the MP multiplayer stuff is sort of slacking behind and trying, trying to update and recode everything, they say, so it might be a while. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Have a good weekend, and we'll catch you next week. Alrighty, so I'm thinking something sort of like that. <laughs> Looks awful like a lot of material, you know. That's an 11-inch piece of freaking 3 8 by inch and a half stuff there but I want to uh, weld her on two inches let me just keep here weld her on two inches have three inches of tooth and then it's got a bend and another three inches for the bottom part of the tooth and then another another bit for underneath right so by the time you you, you, you get her bent and welded on there you're gonna use it all up so uh, yeah that's freaking pretty crazy but anyways we'll get uh, sort of what angles we're wanting here get these sort of tacked on and then uh, see how they're looking all right so we got some teeth on here they're all welded fairly solid on the top side of the bucket there and uh, turn that off we're going to uh, uh, heat the deweys up there now with the torch and bend them around and hopefully they come back around exactly where I wanted them so anyways here's hoping I know you guys are saying not to use one of these, but uh, you know, for lighting the torch, but uh, I've got a sparker somewhere. I think I can find it. Gotta clean up the shop, I know. <laughs>